Cut. Hey everyone, I'm the Angel Fire, and welcome back, explorers, to exploring Minecraft. Be sure to also look at the description below for all credits given. And with that said, I'm ready to start digging deeper into our next Minecraft leg <laughs> of um, our bedrock adventure. <laughs> with that said, um, it's about time for us to check out the Bedrock DLCs. So, yeah. Turning that off. Because uh, it wouldn't do. We're still going to it. Um, but, yeah. Bedrock DLCs. And it's still Minecraft, but we'll do it this way. <laughs> that way we know exactly where we are. And let's see. Um, Let's change the power source. Not the netherite ingot this time. Since it's a DLC we're doing block of ne netherite. We'll do that. <laughs> And we'll keep going. There we go. And with all that done, are well, is everyone ready to go see what's next on our bucket list? <laughs> now remind now just so you know, we are going to three different DLCs you can find in Minecraft Bedrock. So, here we go. Three, two, one, Toronto! Okay, we're finally here. <laughs> this is the first DLC for Minecraft Bedrock or Windows 10. And as you can see, there's really not much. Fly around for the best experience. And oh, uh, this is the human eye. It's actually a Minecraft map. Take an instruction book before you leave. Uh, Oh, welcome to the human eye. How to use this world? Explore a giant scientific model to discover the inner workings of the human eye and learn how humans see objects and colors. Fly around in creative mode to examine the interior and exterior of the model. Use the eye as inspiration and challenge yourself to build models of other natural systems or parts of the human body to bring biology to life. Take screenshots of your creation to share with others. Um, I think, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure if I can do that. So instead, 
No. Uh. Oh, wait. Um. Oh. I'll just grab a chest. <laughs> Uh, or one. Oh, it's raining. Uh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I guess we're gonna look at the human eye. While it's storming? Oh, wow. Dude. Oh. Well, there's the piggy. Oh, I, I'm not supposed to be going that way. <laughs> okay, it's raining and storming. Okay. So, light that enters the eye is inverted by the lens at uh, lens shack the inside of what the eye oh inside the inside of the eye to see what happens to it okay so light cornea the layer of glass oh the layer of glass represents the cornea. It focuses the light coming into the eye. It is filled with liquid to maintain its shape. Oh, no wonder. Uh, in in interior chamber this whole space is filled with liquid, unlike in this example. <laughs> unlike in this example. Okay. What is this? Uh, oh, enter the anterior chamber here. Oh. Oh, pupil, the, the opening in the iris that lets light in the lens. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Oh, what did, what, what does it say over here? Iris. The iris is a muscle that can contract to let more or less light through the lens. Uh, alright. Oh. Okay, I can't read that. I need to go out. <laughs> oh, wow. Aqua's humor. This is a liquid that fills the entire chamber is filled liquid to maintain the shape of the eye. Oh! Okay. So... What is this over here? 
optic nerve. This nerve carries the information gathered in the eye to the brain where it is processed. The fluid image. This channel also carries blood to and from the eye. Uh, and here I thought this was a terraria monster. <laughs> this is one stormy outcome of a, well, exploration. Enter the eye's virtuous vitreous chamber. It is where vision gets made. Okay. Lens. This allows and focuses light into the eye. It flexes and changes shape to change focus. Alright. Oh! Suspensory ligament in sonus is attached to the lens to the muscles that manipulate it, bending the lens and allowing it to change focus. Uh, I'm most likely uh, butchering a lot of these terms. Uh, the ciliary body muscles that manipulate the lens. Um. Oh, when light enters the lens, it inverts, as represented with this ray and the opposite one outside. Because of this, the image your eye picks up is flipped and backwards. Your brain corrects for this and can keep correcting throughout your life, making sure up is always perceived as up. If you are upside down long enough, your brain will actually flip your view of the world so it looks right side up again. What? Okay. <gasps> oh. Did I read it? Oh. This line shows the light entering the eye. Focused by the cornea, restricted by the iris, passing through the pupil into the lens, where it is focused into this room, which is where it is turned into sensory data. The wells of this room are called the retina it creates for peripheral vision. The spot at the end of this line is called the macula, which is where your clear vision comes from. In reality, this whole room would be full of liquid, vitreous humor. Macula this is a small extrasensitive area of your retina that gives you the focus spot at the center of your vision. The light from the lens is focused on the spot. Oh! Forvia, the spot of clearest vision at the macula center. <gasps> The retina gives you peripheral vision, the macula gives you central vision, and the forvia 
gives you that sharp point of focus at the very center of your vision. If you wonder why your vision is clearest in the middle, then becomes more blurry as it moves away from the center, the macula is the reason. Okay, how dare it. <laughs> Optic nerve. This nerve which carries information to the brain connects to the retina. Here, the spot does not pick up light creating a small blind spot in your vision. Oh! What's down here? Oh, did I read this already? Vitreous humor, the entire eye is filled with this clear liquid. It maintains the shape of the eye and trans transmits light. If your vision is cloudy, it may be because of this. It may be because this liquid is cloudy. You know, like cataracts. But, um, yeah. Okay, this is really, really nice um, map. I think the intent was for people to build other things using this as a little bit of a um, model. So I wonder, can other people make things like Maybe a brain? <laughs> or a spleen? Maybe a stomach or intestine. But can you really do that all in Minecraft? How about a lung? <laughs> Either way. Okay, I think our time is up. So, can't wait to see you for the next episode. I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here and leave you all with this. If you have been enjoying my content, please feel free to leave a like and or subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit that notification bell because YouTube doesn't always like to share. Be safe, be healthy, and as always, Future to you, Nina Angel Fire, signing off.